I'm at the Brandenburg station here and getting ready to go out and walk around the gate and also to uh, check out some stuff on Wilhelm Streck. Uh, but you know, one thing I noticed here, it's a little, this is a very complicated map um, of the various routes here. It gets a little confusing at times. It takes a little getting used to, one might say. I talked to one of the people here and I said, this is a little confusing and they just, yeah, <laughs> it's quite confusing. This is much larger and gives you uh, a larger version of everything. But once again, it is extremely, um, it's like a vein map of the Indian, uh, human body. I'm sure someone from Berlin coming to New York City would look at our system and say, boy, this is just as confusing. Well, this is a rather stark spot, um, historically, dealing with Germany. I'm in the location of what once was the Führer bunker. And this is where Adolf Hitler uh, committed suicide, along with his uh, then wife, uh, Eva Braun. Um, but this was the last headquarters of the German Reich. And this is where Nazi Germany ended in late April, early May, 1945. There are very little markers here, very little information about the area. No one wants to talk about it too much, and I understand that. It's a part of history, though, and so it was interesting to visit. As we travel around Berlin, we find lots of interesting places, and this behind me is quite... Uh, this is the Kaiser Wilhelm I Church. Uh, it was dedicated in the early part of the 20th century uh, by Kaiser Wilhelm II. It's a church that was dedicated to the memory of Kaiser Wilhelm I. Um, and in 1943, it was bombed, as was just about every other building within this area, uh, badly damaged. But today, it is a monument, what remains to Kaiser Wilhelm, and also to the atrocities and horrors of war. Well, we are up here on the sixth floor of a store, which I do not know the name, but uh, we came here to eat, so we weren't here to shop. But uh, looking over at parts of Berlin, uh, actually the headquarters for Bear Aspen is here, and the headquarters for Mercedes-Benz is here. Um, we're going to be heading out of Berlin shortly. There's an awful lot of history here. There's an awful lot of things. I was just talking about, before we were filming this, some of the history. Uh, going back to the time of the Franco-Prussian War and, you know, how this all led up to the times of World War I and, and yet the Treaty of Versailles, and, which led to what became World War II. But uh, um, Germany is full of history. Germany is making history because, first off, Germany has got a lot to deal with here since the fall of the Third Reich in 1945 and then having a city divided, half free and half uh, under Soviet control, uh, it's had a lot on its plate. When unification became official on October the 3rd, 1990, it started the process of mending the wounds. Wounds take a long time to heal. Time is needed. You know, I'm reminded as we're sitting here not too far from the opera, uh, of a wonderful story, and it deals with Enrico Caruso, the operatic tenor who came to sing in Berlin. And he performed with the operatic soprano Selma Kurtz, who was always famous for her trilling. And they performed for the royal audience, uh, the Kaiser and his wife. And after the performance, uh, Caruso came and dined with the Kaiser. Next to Caruso was his valet, Mario, who was dutifully at his side. And Kaiser Wilhelm, as he gave the toast to Caruso, said, If I was not the Emperor of Germany, I would love to be Caruso's valet. I think that's a pretty good line. And uh, uh, Caruso and the Kaiser got along pretty well. Well, we just got back from, uh, from Berlin. We're here in Frankfurt. <laughs> and we're on the SkyTrain, working our way to Terminal 1. Uh, pretty fun flight, quick, didn't take long at all, and uh, we're going to be here for just a few hours. Hey! <laughs>
Excuse me. Bitte <laughs> festhalten. Let's try that again. <laughs> Train is departing. Huh? Please hold on to the handbrake. Um, well, we just arrived here at, uh, at uh, Frankfurt, and uh, we just uh, we just left from Berlin Airport. We we just arrived back here at uh, Frankfurt, and we're riding in the uh, auto train here, and uh, going over to go check and see if we can pre uh, pre uh, pre uh, whatever you call. 